now the final callback audition. Each girl singing has impressed the three judges. Manager Jennifer Greg Coston, record executive James Foster Levy, and choreographer Travis Payne. But today's focus is on dance, and Travis plans to really put the girls through their paces. This is phase three. Um, earlier in the audition, we've concentrated more on your vocal ability. Now we will get a chance to see you move. The pressure is enormous, and every one of the finalists knows that a single misstep could mean elimination. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let's turn around and walk back and fast. Once they're warmed up and ready to go, it's time for each girl to show Travis what she's got. Others might be nervous, but not Peter Gay Rowe. Born in the West Indies, Peter Gay has been dancing all her life and now works as a professional choreographer. Even on day one's open auditions, Pita Gay spiced up her performance with some lively moves. So when it's time to cut loose, Pita Gay seizes the moment. But 18-year-old Alexandra Bachelier moves to a different beat. Her stuff is more sensual. A waitress in Miami, Alexandra's shyness was evident at the day one auditions. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Fortunately, so was her talent. We are only going to take one of you, and uh, that Guess would who? probably be number one. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought. I didn't think I was going to make it. I totally freaked out. But I did good, and I'm glad. Now she must overcome her tendency to hold back if she hopes to stand out from the others. Molly Zimfer brings years of New York theater experience to the auditions, and it shows. Yeah, only well, she's a little streeter, a little hipper, yeah. She can dance. She's got like an interesting uh, way that she moves. While prior experience is helpful, the judges are looking at potential as much as ability. It's not always the best dancer who catches my attention. It's usually that dancer who has a special something that draws my eye to them. Every girl has her own style. And from day one, Garland Gerber's style has captured the judge's imagination. If you saw her walking down the street, you'd probably call me a freak. But if I'm a pop star, it's cool. But it's her talent, not her boots, that have gotten her to the dance callbacks. 23-year-old Rosanna Tavares majored in dance at Ohio State University. Until recently, only her mom had heard her sing. When I was younger, I did um, musicals and competitions, and then I stopped for a while. But I've always loved singing in the shower. I can make a wish come true. At her vocal callback, Rosanna gave a performance that would make her mom proud. <laughs> now, her formal dance training gives her a leg up on this part of the auditions. I did too. I really liked her dancing. On day one, Kertisha Johnson showed she had not only talent, but a sweet disposition that would help her get along well in a group. And at the dance callback, Kertisha knows how to move. Ana Maria Lombo has been performing since she was three and doesn't hold back on the dance floor. It's my life. I could not imagine myself doing anything else. But freestyle dancing is only half the battle. To make it into the group, a girl must be able to learn choreography quickly. Isadel Mercedes makes it look easy. So does Yvette Sosa. Oh, she's pretty good at taking direction. She like anticipates all his moves. But it's a lot harder than it looks, as others discover. <laughs> no, you just go like stuff. <laughs> With each step, the judging becomes more strict, and how a girl did in earlier auditions still plays a part in the decision. A phone operator in Los Angeles, Keitha Lynn Brown, made it through the first callback despite her lack of vocal training. Will it be? Like, I have trouble with confidence when I sing. I'm little. When I dance, it's so much easier. I can go out there and, and do it. 
There's no question the dance phase is where Keith is clearly in her element. While each girl has different strengths, the judges are also on the lookout for hidden weaknesses. Bursting with energy and bravado, Chesa Figueroa gave everyone a sneak peek at her dancing during the first vocal audition. I'm really exciting. I love, that's my nature. You know, I am a pop girl. I'm, I'm definitely a pop girl. I love to dance. I'm athletic. Um, you know, it's in me. But the judges have a feeling that her moves might be too rehearsed. When Travis tests her with something new, Chesa struggles. A person can fool you when they come in and they're really good at a certain thing. But when you get into the rehearsal process, the person has a hard time learning choreography or adapting to a different style. So kind of watch out for that. The girls have survived the dance audition, but an even bigger hurdle is coming up. When Pop Stars returns, they face the final test, performing in groups. And then the judges will decide which 26 girls will be coming to LA. Around the country, the 93 callback finalists have danced up a score, hoping to make it to the LA workshop. But the judges have one final test. They divide the girls into groups and give them just 15 minutes to prepare a group performance, complete with harmonies and choreography. The girls can waste no time. I'm like That's awesome. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Kind of need to set the tone, whether it's going to be too hard, whether it's going to be kind of soft. You know what I mean? The judges are looking at how the girls blend, not just their voices, but their different personalities. In most groups, a leader emerges, giving them balance and direction. And then someone else. For CMR Hernandez, the role comes naturally. And we're going to move in intervals, ready? In the earlier callbacks, this 21-year-old wowed the judges with both her powerful voice and musical knowledge. I've been sight reading since I was 13, uh -huh. and um, I have relative pitch. I don't have perfect pitch. <laughs> CMR's musicianship helps her quartet come together quickly. Not every quartet achieves such an even balance. In this group, three of the girls are being overshadowed by Melissa Rosenson, a dispatcher from Marietta, Georgia. The determination by some girls to grab the spotlight could signal trouble down the road. But the judges are watching out for just these kinds of problems. Every group has its own dynamic, as unique and distinctive as the individual personalities. On day one, 19-year-old Bea Toplacito wore her lucky tube top to the auditions and got herself a callback. Was I supposed to get dressed up? Because I didn't know that. Nobody informed me or nothing. Now, she brings a cool street vibe to her ensemble. Um, my body's saying, let's go. Ooh, 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 ah. The judges watch for girls who show steady signs of improvement. Christina Petty has come a long way over the past few days, in more ways than one. But I'm glad I made it, because I came way from Hampton, Virginia, to come out here today. I was on a bus all last night. Christina traveled over 10 hours to attend the New York auditions. But when it was time to sing, she had to battle her nerves as well as fatigue. Would you jump to the end? No, I'm saying to the end of the song. Like, that's all right. That's all right. At the dance callback, Christina began to come out of her show. With her mixture of self-reliance and raw talent, the judges think she has tremendous potential. I don't think she's had any training. Yeah. But the fact that she's kind of that raw can be very good mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. She seems like she'd be kind of like sort of the rebellious, cool one. That girl is scared. Fifteen free. minutes isn't long, and before they know it, the girls have run out of time. Oh, yeah. Ready? Maybe she should get on the dancing part soon. No, yeah, because we don't have much time. Stop, Stop working. No more working. In every city, each group has just one chance to shine. Performance is the final test, and this is the last time most of the girls will see Travis, James, and Jennifer. 
Yeah. You all should be very, very proud of yourselves for getting to this point because we're all pretty, t pretty tough judges up here. Yeah. Now the girls must return home to sweat out the judge's decision while the three judges return to L.A. Good luck to all of you and yeah, we hope to luck. see you in Los Angeles. Yeah. Back in L.A., Travis, James, and Jennifer are joined by Grammy Award-winning record producer David Foster, who has worked with such artists as Whitney Houston and Celine Dion. Together, the judges must review their notes and study hours of videotape to decide which girls will be coming to the L.A. workshop. As talented as they are, most won't make it past this process. Like Tiffany Renee, Kelly Blakemore, Morgan Matlock and Jangela Shumskas, who put off moving just to audition. Now she and many others will have to move on. With Foster's label 143 Records producing the new group's debut album, David Foster will be one of the biggest influences on the girls' future. And during the deliberations, he focuses on just one thing, the music. The people that shortcut the rhythm usually are people that can potentially get in trouble in the studio. Now wait, two, now wait. A one, two, three, four, up. That's a real sign that somebody doesn't have it. Now they all did that. She was a really good dancer. She was very good in the groups. Finding the right combination of voices is important, but David Foster's chief concern is a different kind of fine tuning. Well, one of the other things I look for is, and I think she was guilty of this, is that they start the song, even though acapella is hard, but they start the song in one key, and by the time they get to the chorus, they're in another key, and that's like... I feel like I've been locked up tight for a century of loneliness. Right, she's saying really low, okay? No, she's just changed keys three times. I, that's I mean, that's yeah. something you can't... You know. I like her personality. I think that we should bring her back and see what she does here and see what she does. The debate goes on, looking at girl after girl from city after city until the judges finally agree on who will be coming to L.A. The final tally? 26 girls. When Pop Stars returns, the judges deliver the news. Hello? Christina? Yeah. Each girl gets a call that could break her heart or change her life. The three judges, along with record producer David Foster, have decided which 26 girls will be invited to L.A. Now come the phone calls. It's a gut-wrenching moment that's had all the girls waiting on pins and needles. Some had a pop star's film crew with them to record the verdict, whatever it might be. Hello, it's Travis calling for Keith Lynn. Hello? Hi, it's Travis Payne from Pop Stars. How are you? I'm just really nervous. Are you? <laughs> Why on earth would you be nervous? I don't know, because I don't want to hear the answer. I mean, I do, but I don't. Well, we would like for you to uh, join us at this workshop. Oh, my God, are you serious? <laughs> oh, oh, are you serious? Yeah. Oh, my God, thank you so much. <laughs> Alexandra Bachelier gave as much as she could at the dance callbacks, but was facing stiff competition. Hello? Hello, this is Travis Payne from Pop Stars for Alexandra. Hello? We would really be pleased to have you come join us in L.A. for a workshop. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, I love you, I love you, are you serious? Oh, my God, I'm so, 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 Bea Toplacito's tube top has always brought her good luck. She's about to learn if her streak will continue. Hi, is this Bea? This is Bea. Bea, hi, it's Jennifer with Pop Stars. How are you? I'm Wigan. Well, I just let me just tell you, this was such a hard decision, and we really labored over this for such a long time. You, um, we really liked you. We really uh, were very impressed with you. And um, although... You did a great job. Unfortunately, we won't be asking you to come to Los Angeles. But, um, again, you did such a great job, and, and I wish that we could, but we ha it's a very hard process, and unfortunately, we can't. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thanks for your hard work. All right, thanks. And um, good luck with everything. All right. 
Okay. Bye. Bye. That was probably my hardest one. That's the hardest one I have to do. I feel so bad. It's an emotional moment that some don't want to face alone. Can we get a moment of silence, please, people? Garland Gerber had invited her friends over to either share in the celebration or cushion the blow. Uh, there we go. Caller ID. Caller ID. Hello. Hello, it's Travis Payne from Pop Stars calling for Garland. Hi, that's me. I was calling to see if, uh, if you'd like to maybe join us for this workshop in L.A. During her first callback, Alexis Brown showed she wasn't one to hide her feelings. Every girl wants this, but nobody wants it more than she does. Yes, it's my dream. I can't stop crying. That's okay. I just, I just want this so bad. Hi Alexis, this is James calling from Pop Stars. Hi James. Well, I won't keep you. Um, I want you to know that it's been a really hard decision for me and um, the other two judges that are working on this project. We saw a lot of really, really talented girls in, in this process, so that makes it even more difficult for us. So given all that, um, we want to know if you want to come to L.A. <laughs> I'm dead serious, girl. Oh, my God, I'm so happy. I really didn't think I was going to scream because I've been waiting for so many days and I was, like, going nuts and I thought it wasn't going to happen. Oh, and then you scared the hell out of me. Like, you just said that. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my Hi, Kathleen. It's James Foster from Pop Stars. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm great. I'm calling to say that unfortunately you won't be one of the ones that we asked to come to the workshop next week. Mm -hmm. But we really thank you and, and you should be proud of how far you got in L.A. Yeah. Okay, and best of luck to you. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, well. So sad. No. That's that. <laughs> Christina Petty grew up in a foster home and has worked to support herself all her life. Could a music career be around the corner? Christina's boyfriend tapes her phone call. Neither one knows if it'll be worth keeping. Hello? Christina? Yeah. This Hi. is James from Pop Stars calling. Okay. You know, you should be really proud of, of yourself for, you know, making the drive to New York and for getting as far as you did on, on the audition process. Given all that, we want to know if you can come to L.A. <laughs> Yes, I can come to LA. Yes, yes. Like the day after tomorrow or that quickly? Yeah, I'm going to LA, dog. <laughs> okay. We're calling. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, baby, yeah! <laughs> For the 93 girls, it's been a demanding process, both physically and emotionally. Now, this stage of the auditions is over. The final 26 making the trip to LA are... Rosanna Tavares, Chesa Figueroa, Keitha Lynn Brown, Ciamar Hernandez, Carrie Roberts, Margot Yap, Alexander Bachelier, Molly Zimfer, Nikki McKibben, Shonda Johnston, TV Carpio, Garland Gerber, Ana Maria Lombo, Baby Norman, Camille Guadi, Kertisha Johnson, Alexis Brown, Isadel Mercedes, Yvette Sosa, Jean Perlman, Jessica Robinson, Christina Petty, Katie Morris, Crystal Donahue, Nicole Scherzinger, and Peter Gayro. Now the process that began in six cities is down to just one, Los Angeles. I'm going to LA! Next week on Pop Stars. The 26 finalists are in LA for a week of intensive training. They will work with Roger Love, one of the industry's top vocal coaches, who will test the very limits of each girl's voice. And for the first time, Grammy Award-winning producer David Foster. If you're not prepared for the rejection part of this business, then you truly have to get out today. 
For some, the pressure may be too much. Everybody's making it so good. Emotions run high as the girls face the first set of cuts where 11 will be sent home. Then, the remaining girls will be primped and pampered for a performance for the judges at one of LA's hottest clubs, the Viper Room. The end of that performance is also the end of a dream for five more girls, leaving ten finalists, each one now so close to becoming a pop star.